I was laughing so hard yesterday watching this video by Big Ward about how all these women have the booties out everywhere and he's tired of seeing it. And I talked to a lot of guys who are tired of seeing women half dressed everywhere. Guys that are looking for a wife or girlfriend and men of quality, they do not respect women that showing their ass and their vulva everywhere including at the gym. Now, I bought this to wear for my Just For Fans, and I would wear this for a boyfriend at home. These are these kind of like, I call them vulva pants. <laughs> they have that thing in the back that makes your ass cheeks super, it goes in where the crack is, and then this is so tight, this is so tight, that you can see the outline of the vulva lips. That's what ladies wear to the gym and post on YouTube. I find it very shocking. It's pornographic. And it makes these women look like white trash, frankly. When I was an escort, and also some guys that I know, young men in their 30s, professional men with good careers looking for wives, they don't want to see that. They want a, a woman who is dressed like a woman and shows her body to her man only and they say we like we're all for a woman dressing sexy wear something tight wear something sexy but don't show your ass and your tits to everyone on social media and in public and I agree with that now let's see I should show you guys what I'm wearing I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym so after I make this video what do I wear to the gym so I cover myself up, okay? There's nothing, I mean, I wear leggings, but when I bend over, I don't want my tits to show. You know, I, I have a nice booty, I could show. I don't want my vulva lips to show. And when I wear, when I go running, I usually wear running shorts, but I will not wear this to the gym, and I do not wear Sometimes I might take the tank top off, you know, if I, like this. But there's nothing showing. But uh, if I take the tank top off, that was only at my little gym. Where I'm going today, I'm not going to take the tank top off. Because there are a lot of people there. And I don't want to be seen as a hoochie-coochie mama. Everyone wants attention. But what kind of attention are you getting? Are you getting attention? I don't want attention from men who are, um, let me put this another way. I think some women maybe weren't raised properly or maybe they were sexual abused. I don't know, but this is how I feel about it. Access to my body is something you have to earn that I give you after you've recognized me as a person. That's really how healthy women want to do it in my opinion. You're interested in me for something about me. You like my energy, you like how I move, you know, and, and then if I like you, I'll show you more. I don't lead with my pussy or my sexuality or my tits because that's very superficial. That's not even real. That's like a guy trying to get a woman with, you know, because of his car or his house or whatever. Um, if a woman just wants you for that, it's not even real. And by the way, men are turned on by, when I wear my sundress, guys check me out everywhere. My sundress, it, everything is covered. I'm gonna show you guys my sundress. Oh my God, I love this dress. It's so cute and it's really long. And it's made of this eyelet material. When I wear this, guys just look. This is how you get good attention. And they're drawn in by the beauty, the innocence. You know, there's an innocence and a beauty to wearing something like this. And it's flowy. You know, that's the kind of guy you want to get. I'll show you another. I love dresses. But I grew up, my mom always wore pretty dresses. So... You know, it was kind of modeled to me. So I'm going to pass it on to the ladies. I love this dress. It's so flowy and sheer. I should make um, 
I should make like another video. I'll do it on another day when I wear some of these dresses and I put the phone the other way. Men have told me they get turned on by, you know, a ponytail or just the way we move. You, you don't have to show all that. They're drawn in by the enchantment, the ruffles the softness of the fabric, just our bodies. And men have said, they can see our bodies through our clothes. You don't have to show everything. Now, there's a certain type of man that's gonna be drawn to the hoochie coochie mama look. Those are not men, that, those are not high quality men. Sure, every man might look if you stick out your ass, but those are not good men to get. When I go to the gym like this, I kind of stand out because I'm wearing more clothes, <laughs> but when I met my, uh, well, I'm divorced now, but when I met my husband in college, I was fully dressed and he found me attractive, fully dressed. I used to wear suits. I was like very, I loved wearing suits even when I was 19 and um, he found me attractive, started talking to me in class. I know from talking to men that they're very attracted to a woman who is modest in her dress. Yeah. Um, and by that I mean you can dress sexy but just don't show a lot of skin. Like what you can wear something tight. My dad, who's a big womanizer, told me this when I was younger. He said, you can wear, like Bridget Bardot, you know, was a famous movie star back in the 60s, or very sexy sex model. And he said, you can wear something tight, like a pair of pants, you know, that come down to the ankle, you know, like slim pants with heels. That's very sexy, but you're not showing everything. That's what I mean. And so, and I like to wear things that are tight, that are fitted at the waist. It's really hard to find tops that are snug. Everything is so loosey or cropped up. My belly is not necessarily my best feature and I don't want things loose. I like, to, I like clothes that fit snug. Uh, you know, I like, or with darts around the breast area, like not too tight, but tailored like snug I don't like all Lucy clothes so that's kind of sexy but I'm not showing everything along with that is like so many women think to attract a man they have to do a plastic surgery or do a lot of this fakey stuff like the duck lips the hair extensions that's very common now. Women are, if you see a woman with, where the hair is very thick here at the ends, it's usually hair extensions, you know, like typical hair will be just like, you know, that's it. It gets thinner as it goes down. There isn't really that much hair at the ends usually. Some women have very thick hair, but the hair extensions are very common. The um, fake eyelashes, the Botox, the facelifts, the BBLs, the fake breasts and the filters on the photos. High quality men don't want any of that. They like a woman who's more all natural looking. They wanna see what you look like when you wake up in the morning. They find our natural state, our pheromones attractive. But what you do have to do as a woman if you wanna attract men, you have to be fit, you can't be like fat, although some guys like more curvy women, but probably curvy with the waist, I don't know, but you have to work out and be fit. Um, do some good grooming, dress in a way that's beautiful, and have, um, have something going on, have your finances in order, and be kind. It's more about our beauty and our energy. Showing all that stuff is not good. 
I mean, guys are going to look, but they're going to look with their dicks, not with their hearts. That's what I want to say. We, a high quality man is going to be attracted also through his heart to some extent. It's not going to be just his dick. He's going to be like, hmm, I kind of like her. There's something about her that I like. Of course, they want to have sex with us too, but it has to go beyond just their dicks. And these women that are just leading with their with their with their bodies um you know it's not enticing to a man they want to have something that they can um look forward to seeing something left to the imagination but also i would say that women who show everything like that to the public like i have it just for fans but guys have to pay 40 dollars to see that not five, not 10, 40. And in all the years I've been doing this, I've had, I'm very fortunate these, high, these are more higher quality subscribers. They have never posted any of my stuff anywhere on those free sites. All my stuff is behind the paywall. And I only do that because it's easy money and it's fun. But I don't want to show that to just anyone. I only want to show that to the guys who've paid to see it. And, you know, it's entertainment. It's very sensual what I do, so it's entertainment. But anyway, um, I forgot what I was going to say, but men don't respect women who are just showing all that to just everyone. And they want to have something left to the imagination. And women who are showing everything to everyone are not women you could trust in my opinion because they don't have any boundaries it's boundaryless behavior that's what i want to say showing all that you know vulva in the gym i have red ones too <laughs> i'm not a prude but this is what you wear for your boyfriend or your husband wear these at home for your boyfriend or your husband okay with a tight little one of those little sports bras with half your tits sticking out. Wear that in the bedroom, okay? Lift some weights, get him turned on. You know, I'm not a prude, but don't show that to everyone. It's called having some boundaries. You can wear tight stuff. My stuff is tight. It's super tight, but I don't sh I'm not showing any skin. Okay, it's called having some boundaries. So you gotta have some boundaries around what you're showing people. And that's not because we're prudes, but it's more like, I guess it has to do, you know, clothes and the way we dress and the way we talk, the way we, you know, even the cars we drive, how we decorate our homes, there's, you know, we send a message about ourselves and what we think is beautiful. And it's not really beautiful to go around showing all that. I, I don't like it. The... When I was at Equinox, right before the lockdown, I only saw one good looking guy. He was so good looking. You know what he wore? You guys are not going to believe. He wore these, um, he was completely dressed. He wore a long kind of shirt. He wore these pants that were not even tight. But I could tell he was, he was hot. You don't have to show all that. Also, a related topic, guys, I'm going to make a different video on guys thinking how they have to look. But anyway, this was about the women just dress with a little bit of class. Wear something that's beautiful. As a woman, just wear something that's beautiful and find something about your body that you like. Every woman has something about her that's beautiful. Okay. You know, for me, I have, for me, it's my ass. I'm toned, but I don't, it's not my hair. It's very thin. And uh, I, my, I think my face is okay, although some guys like it. But for some women, it's their hair. They have the most beautiful hair. And I have very small breasts, but for some women, it's their breasts. It could be their hair. It could be their face or their ass. Every woman has either a beautiful ass, breasts, face, or hair. Every woman. So find the thing. Not every woman has all four. You have one, maybe two if you're lucky. So find the thing that sets you apart 
and focus on that. Don't focus on the things you don't like. When I was younger, I hated so many parts of my body. I hated my nose, my bow legs, my big butt, and my thin hair. Hated all of it. Hated it. I was like, how can I ever like myself? And then as I got older, I realized, let me just focus on the parts of myself that I like. So I picked my eyebrows. I happen to like my eyebrows. Some people might think they're too bushy. I happen to like them. This is how they naturally are. I think I just pluck a couple hairs here and there. Let me just focus on the things I like and look at that and stop focusing on the things I don't like and stop hating myself. So ladies, focus on the things that you like. Your hair. Some ladies have the most beautiful hair. And throughout history, men have wanted us, even in burkas, you do not need to do all that plastic surgery. The problem with the plastic surgery is you then you're always going to wonder if you liked you for you because uh, you're leading with your body and not with who you are. The, the magic of a woman is a woman who loves herself and is confident in her own skin. So before you do that surgery or that Botox, just ask yourself, what do I need to do to feel comfortable in my own skin right now? And stop hating on yourself. We got to stop hating on ourselves. Um, should I make the go into the guys here too? I'll make a separate video for the guy thing. Okay, so focus on what you like about yourself and just realize a lot of the stuff that's on the uh, manosphere stuff is very toxic. You know, they're telling you, you got to look like this or look like that. That's just their opinion. You know, I see guys all the time, not all the time, but sometimes, you know, I, 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 I see guys in real life and they think I'm absolutely beautiful. I'm like, are you sure? You know, I got so many wrinkles. The Manosphere guys are telling me I hit the wall. I'm, I get comments on my YouTube channel that I'm an old prude. And the guy just looked at me. He's like, what? You're so beautiful. It's a young guy. A young guy. So again, it's all in your perception. It's all in your perception. Don't let other people tell you what you are. Just be the best version of yourself. You got to work out, eat well, get enough sleep, have a good attitude, have your life in order, and just be you. We need more people to just be you instead of doing all this surgery. And in California, it's like, bad. You can't go anywhere uh, decent or high end without seeing all the women having done all this with the duck lips, the fake hair, the fake tits. A lot of guys don't like that. Those fake tits are hard. You know, they want the softness of a real woman. And there's nothing more attractive than your confidence. That's what you got to work on. S spend your money figuring out how to love yourself and be confident rather than doing all those surgeries. That's my advice. And wear clothes that make you feel beautiful. Um, I also have like a bunch of like Western outfits that I wear. I feel very strong in that. And then I feel more feminine in that. You know, just find out what kind of clothes you like to wear uh, that make you feel beautiful or strong or fun or sexy. And just keep your cleavage and your ass covered. That's it. That's my advice to the ladies. Thank you for watching my video.